All right, so let's take a look at writing um, some elements in an array to an actual file. So um, let's start off by creating a new print writer object. So you start off by writing print writer. And I'm going to call it output file. And we have to make that a new, new object. So print writer. And I'm going to name my file alex.txt. Now notice that we have an error because we haven't imported our print writer uh, um, class. So now that that's imported, and we need to make sure that we have these in quotes. And you can see here it says uh, adds throw declaration because it needs to check if the file is there or surround with try catch. Let's go ahead and just do a throw, and that's going to add a file not found exception here. So if it runs and we can't find the file, um, it'll put it up there. So let's go ahead and look at writing the array. So let's comment that off. So here we're going to write the array to the file. And we just simply do that with a for loop. So let's create the structure of our for loop. So int index equals 0 index plus plus, I'm sorry, index is less than, uh, let's go ahead and create an array that we're going to check, so int numbers, these are the numbers we're going to write to our file, and we'll do the same thing as before, 1, comma 2, 3, 4, comma 5, comma 6, and as long as it's less than the numbers dot length, we're going to index, we'll, uh, Increment our index, and let's grab our output file, and we're going to say output file dot print line equals our index, which is this guy, and then what we're incrementing through. So starting at zero. Now something you have to remember too is we always have to close our file. So just so that we remember, let's make sure that we right here close the file. All right. And cannot be found. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to show you why that says that. So I'll put file dot close. All right, now let's run this. Okay, so here we have our, um, it tells us right off the bat that it cannot, it says printl cannot be resolved or is not in a field. Um, this is our print line. Part of that is because we haven't created this alex.txt file. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's right click in here, show in System Explorer. And inside of play, I'm just going to right click and create a new uh, text document. We're going to go ahead and call that Alex. Make sure it's named the same. And you'll notice if we open this up, there's nothing in there. Let's run this again. Oh, the other thing is this guy right here. Sorry. There we go. It's not equals. It's just we're calling that function. So let's go ahead and press play. And now when we open up that folder, we open this up, you'll see we get those numbers printed into the file. Now let's see what happens if I delete this. And I think they have a catch-all with this where it just creates the file for you. So let's press play. And then I'm going to right-click, show in Explorer. And let's go inside of play, and you can see there's alex.txt, and it recreated it for me.